Hey, uh, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, me and the Spirit Shrink, we're doing part two. Uh, they only allow me to go live for an hour at a time, so. Waiting for them to get back in here. That was a, that's a great discussion. Let's see, the Spirit Shrink. Yo. Oh, shit, I always do that. Why would I do the front camera? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, we, because uh, we ended up hitting an hour, bro. My, my shit don't be my, doing that. When I go live, my shit just let me go. See, you don't oh, have any what? restrictions yet. Nigga, I got fucking, I got three. Oh, oh you, got, you, got, whoa, whoa, whoa. you got priors. Yeah, I got, pri I got priors, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> So look, I can't I can't go longer than an hour. I can't uh, do collaborations anymore. Um, and I, I think they got people. I think well, those two specific. Oh, and I can't I, and I can't post more than two videos at a time. Like you know the uh, you know we do uh, what is it called? Not a reel, but like. You know, like when you have like four posts in one, mm -hmm. like four videos, I can't do that shit no more. Mm. Hey, nigga said mm -hmm. one video at a time, nigga. Make it Man, we need a new social <laughs> media, bro. We need, we need a different social media, bro. Wherever you decide to go, holla at me. Nigga, bro. I'm going to Truth. I'm going to uh, Bumble. I'm going to all the truth, yeah. nigga. I'm going to, uh, the, what's, what's that other shit called, nigga? We'll see. I'm, I'm looking. There's a video platform that I use called um, Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah. It's, it's blockchain, we'll it's blockchain based. Be on with that, man. I need to stop bullshitting, nigga. Fair base too. Oh, yeah. I mean, and if you got shit on YouTube, you can automatically sync your shit from YouTube over to Odyssey. Because boy, oh boy, oh boy, they they like, they be like, oh, you, you deserve a spanking. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right? And, and, and you know which poster was for too, right? What you mean? Uh, uh, the poster that ended up um, getting a strike for. Which one? The one we had, who was commenting on it? Nah, nah. It was the one where... Um, it was the one where a uh, dude was giving a girl a massage. And they... And they, oh. they sexual I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, I'm like, nah, son. I'm like, nah, this is this is this is weird. This is weird. Like, just like what you mentioned before, niggas niggas could suck a dick and a half on a post, but as soon as the niggas saw this, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Niggas can't even find no pussy, you know, on Instagram no more, nigga. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, what kind of, what kind of society have we become? Well, look, we used to we used to live in a way where we just had the titties out, you know. <laughs> Bitches they have shirts. Now we got wear shirts, bro. It's just crazy. Look, I'm team titty. I'm team titty. I'm no shirt, no bra. I'm cool yeah. with it, baby. Shit. <laughs> look, I'm not look, I'm not gonna feel as bad to get my women's titties out if everybody's woman titties out. Right. I'll be okay right. with it. And you, okay, okay. It is, it, you know what, let me, let me be a hundred with you, right? So, <laughs> even that, right? I know a lot of conscious niggas be complaining about it and shit like that, right? But I'm starting to realize that a lot of the shit that, like, Bobby was talking about, all of this stuff starting to come to fruition, right? But it's not coming in the, uh, it's not coming in the form that like we're expecting it to come, right? Yep. Like niggas, niggas yep. basically saying, hey, hey, look, you know, we're gonna get, uh, it's gonna be a time where titties don't mean shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right, and so we have Instagram, you know, we have all these different platforms, you know, different folks, they showing their titties and shit like that, right? <laughs> but now it's to the point, like, like, like I said, all the conscious niggas, they complaining about it. Oh, sister, you need to be more, uh, a woman art thou loose. You need you need to be more uh, uh, reserved and more you know uh, you know balanced and shit like that, right? But like we get to a time to where you know niggas wasn't so super obsessed about titties and women can walk around with their titties out because all you see is titties, so it's not a big deal now. But 
there's still, there's still reality. I think, because the only reason I can challenge in New York, you could walk around with your titties out, nipples, and everything, bro. You could drink wine outside. Yeah. New York, man, New York be tripping me out, bro. I don't know. Yeah. New York don't count. <laughs> New York don't count. <laughs> you know, and, and, New York does and, everything. <laughs> and, and so if we, if we talking about, it's like it's just coming in different forms. Even like, even just the concept of the Shiva morphodity, right? Like it's it's supposed to be in. The it, it it's supposed to be in like the spiritual aspect, but like people are yeah. saying, literally in like, like mutilating yes. mutilating themselves and castrating themselves and giving themselves double oh. mastectomies you know because you know they, they they're viewing it as being a spiritual thing but it's something that's hap- is supposed to be happening inward and outward not yeah not like yeah anyway yeah no you're yeah. right bro because look motherfuckers was, motherfuckers don't think about what they say right. the physical world is an illusion i'm not my body if you're not your body stop trying to make that into the thing you want this spiritual thing you're supposed to already be that See, the issue is you don't see it. That's the issue. That's the work. It's not making your body into some reflection of some spiritual thing. It already is that. It's been that. That's that's why it's here. That's why it can do what it can do in so many different ways. That shit ain't the issue. Like, see, what, what I'm saying this shit, bro, it's not, it's not to say something bad about sex. Like I'm saying, sex and marriage are different things. Sex been around for a long time. That's an old thing. Marriage is something different. Marriage, marriage, and and, and the creation of families right. is part of what leads to civilization. Mm-hmm. See, pussy don't build civilization, bro. It may make more, more bodies, and you need that. That's that, that's why that's why there's intrinsic value there. Mm-hmm. But that don't build civilizations, bro. Lingam time. So, I'm telling you. All right. So let's also share this, right? So um, you know, but sex is so- great. I'm sorry, sex is great have plenty of sex but marriage the the building of a family the investment into into a larger structure that can be a community a culture a civilization a society that's something completely different that's business that's business and who knows business better than a whore i'm just gonna say it brother we keep going back don't they don't they don't Uh. Uh. (laughs) because look look Look, just like outcasts say, what happens when the dope gets slow, bitch? You ain't that fine, no way. Sure. What happens when that pussy ain't top shelf no more and you ain't developed no skills? Right. Are we supposed to give that bitch a the husband, a man who done worked his ass off to be something? I'll be damned. Right. All she did was throw her legs up and collect money. That's not, uh, bro. I'm, I'm, I'll get it. It's the oldest religion. It's the oldest profession. It, it, it's business involved. I'll give it to you. It's natural. It's animal. I'm not rejecting it. But I'm saying. Sex and, and 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 marriage are different things. Oh, that's not true. Hold on. Wait, oh, 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 hold on. Oh, oh, no, sorry, not you. When, when when the brother said few whores no business. Hold on, real quick. When it comes to that, right? The only thing about that. Let's be. Let's let's be a hundred percent. Have to agree with him. I'm a, I want to hear what you say, but I have to agree with him. Oh, hold on. Hold I want to hear what you say, though. So, all right. So the whole process. So, all right. Even if we're just, when, if we, all right. Let's even if we take the the holy whore aspect out of it, right? If we were just talking about, please, um, <laughs> about it at its at its most My base, mundane, right? If we start talking about it at its most base level, talking about like it as prostitution, right? All right. All right. So, right. There's a reason. There's a <laughs> there's a specific reason, right? Why every hoe don't meet their quota every night? <laughs> because because if it was just about sex, they would all meet their quota. They would all have thousand, two, two, three thousand dollars a night. They'd be comfortable. They would be getting no flack from them, right? Mm-hmm. But the ones that take business in the mind are the are usually the ones that are successful, right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. in your customer base, mm-hmm. you like the knowing, knowing, knowing the customer that is going to be attracted to you, like your demographic, right? Mm-hmm. Just yeah. out there, hey y'all, I got some pussy. You know what I'm saying? Flagging out a car, right? Being likable, right? Being, being pleasant to whatever John or whatever dude that might come through, so that you can get a repeat customer. Right? We relatable. Be relatable. Business, you want your customers to return unless it's just, 
hey, you got thirty dollars, you can have it all. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Because you also hold on. Some of the best stores never have sex. You have whores, right? Who even just when it comes to conversation, sometimes you have men that pay just pay a woman just to listen to them. Commute. So have having proper communication and listening skills, right? Also, um, how 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 to make your how to make your product how to keep your product fresh, right? So whether that includes um, whether that includes what promotion, <laughs> whether that includes whatever trinkets you add to yourself, like what services you provide, right? Also, mm -hmm. improving your skill set. Right, because all dicks get like the the all uh head ain't the same head, all pussy ain't the same pussy, all hand jobs ain't the same hand jobs. So if we just keep relating it to this base level of prostitutes, oh, this we have it easy. They just sell some pussy, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Then they all would meet their quotas. They all would be rich. But the truth, is, <laughs> the truth is. It's not a profession, almost. The, uh, the truth is, it's a necessity. They got some. They might have some sort of drug addiction, right? They they might be getting uh, kicked out of a home. They're not doing it because they actually love doing it, because it's actually within them, right? They're not. Doing it's not just because they treated it like a real business. Just saying. Just saying, brother. You you have the floor. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool, bro. I'm. I'm. I'm this is what I'm gonna say. Do you know what you sound like? A pimp. See, hoes ain't good at business. That's why you have pimps. Okay. Hoes, look, you, every now and then, you'll find one who done learned the hard way and she done made it. She done figured it out for herself. Okay. That, that, ain't, mo that, ain't, that ain't how it go most of the time. But like you said, it's a necessity. It's not a love. So they're out there. They need to get it done. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see the motherfucker. They want to get it done. She'll make a business. Most of them don't want to. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I was going to say is it's not just a necessity, bro. It's an option. Mm -hmm. It's an op option. Because look, I can have that same quote unquote necessity. I can have a drug problem. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a lot more irredeemable <laughs> if I go down that route. Fuck you talking about. Oh, hey. Bro, you got these <laughs> cheeseburgers. Who are you talking about, man? So, so look, look, I'm not. I, 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 I empathize, but I don't sympathize. Okay, I feel it. I get it. I understand that necessity will put you there. You don't want to do it, but you're doing it. I hear you. Congratulate, but I don't sympathize because you have the option. You have the op option. So, if I can, and pimps are what make ho hoeing a business. Hold on. Hold on. So pimps are what make hoeing a business, bro. But if I may, I will also say, right. There's a, when it comes to the pimp and whole dynamic, it's also, the, it's, it's also the chicken and the egg. It's a chicken and the egg, egg situation because there are many pimps that have said that they were broken by, by experienced hoes. There are many pimps that say that they were taught how to be a pimp by a hoe just based on, it, it could be something as base as, oh, you know, you a big dude, right? and you're intimidating here's what i learned you need to know this so that you can know what to look out for and then you could also recruit other women all right, mm -hmm. right. All right. yeah like i said the one of them girls who go through it the hard way and no yeah you know what i'm saying yeah so, it happens i'm not gonna say look because this is how i feel about the chicken and the egg bro i hate that thing because eggs been a lot, around a lot longer than chickens Hoes been around a lot longer than pimps. So I'm not saying pimps were there before hoes. I'm saying pimps made hoe in the business. Before it's just give me what give me what I want and I'll give you this. Pimps made hoes. But, but all this shit you said, all that shit you just right. said, hoes don't say that. Because, because of the necessity. Because it's a necessity for them. I'm sorry. Because it's a necessity for them. Just like you said. It's a necessity. There's not there's not a bit they're not thinking business. They do say is thinking business a pimp is thinking business a bitch that's been running running that street by herself getting run through hurting she she figures out it's a business by herself see 
they don't th they don't just come like that because like you said for the most part it's out of necessity that's the most bad they come with value they don't want to they, they inherently naturally animalistically do not just want to give that away they don't so they're out of there they're out of necessity therefore they're not there for business a pimp is there for business all that shit you said is what a pimp says nigga a pimp says that yeah yeah egg been around a lot longer than a chicken but nigga we, we we keep chickens around so we can have eggs we don't keep lizards around we don't keep you know we, we don't keep uh, uh 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 snails have eggs you know we, we do fish eggs you know we got caviar so look look, look, look i'm there's, not there's a bunch of snail farms snails are that was a good for agriculture. That's my You know, so we so look, we keep shit around to have eggs. Nobody saying eggs ain't shit, but it's it's, it's like everything got its place. We, we the shit we we want to do it goes back to animal shit, like you were saying, bro. Right. Like that girl out there, she's hoeing. It's out of necessity because naturally she don't want to give her intrinsic value away. She don't want to do that. It's natural to not want to do that. So. Bro, this shit goes back to nature. So, like the the male who who's about to invest in his future doesn't want to to, to put his seed in soil that, that 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 that's been you know all the nutrients is gone maybe you know or, or, or it's it's look I'm not gonna say all the nutrients is gone. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's it's not as good as the soil that nobody's touched because it's gonna be his. It's gonna be his. Uh -huh. Because it's gonna be his. That's a thing for men. That's a thing for us. This is mine. This is my shit. That's not insecurity. This is my shit. Is oh, nobody owns anything. Nobody has house. anything. Give me it's your money, nigga. No, this is my right shit. Now. What? It's your turn. It's still never yours. And see, look, bro. If that's the case, if, no, 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 you real shit. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. I'm saying, if that's the case, what I would suggest to do is either don't get married or redefine that shit completely, because you, because the old order contract is gone. All the shit that, that it used to be, because it, if if what the case is is that she's never yours, it's just your turn. Because I won't disagree with you. It's, it's in there. If that's the case, bro. That means men don't need to be getting married no more. So, or they have to completely redefine it to where, you know, it's just, you don't really invest in the women. You just maybe have children with her. Because, look, because, because the only way you could, this is why I say that. Hold on. Don't, this is why I say you can't be quick. Because this is why you say you wouldn't, this is why I say you wouldn't invest in the women if that was the case, is because you're not, you're building your empire. You can't feed everyone's empire with yours. And, and basically what you're saying is she's everyone. She's with everyone. She, just, she don't belong to no one. She's just this free thing. Like, look, a goat out there in the woods is a free thing. It don't belong to nobody. It's just out there. I'm not investing my money in that. If I need to get something from it, I may go get it. I don't need, I don't, I'm not investing my, my, see, it's not part of the family. It's not part of the unit. It's not part of the, the, the structure. It's not part of the building. That's what I'm saying. When, when women, are, when, when, when you're in the place where she's never yours, it's never your turn. It's like you're building your house on land that's never going to be yours. So if that's the case, you have to move completely differently. This idea of marriage ain't what it's supposed to. It ain't what it used to be. If that's the case, I'm not going to disagree with you that that's the case. You know that can be the case, bro. You know women are free to do what they want with that whoever, however, whenever, wherever. You know it's all this. You know that's cool. But if that's the case. You, we can't have the same agreements we used to have, and marriage is one of them. So it's gonna have to be completely different. The thing about that is, right? There is not. There's everything has this finite period, you know. Like mm -hmm. even marriage. Like if mm -hmm. that was in the, we have marriage, you also have divorce. You also have death. You also have different things that take place, right? Yeah, yeah. That, but I mean, I, I know we're. Just speaking about marriage from the sense of, you know, you know, you know, family. No, 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 no. Well, family. No, no, not just that. No, no, not no, just no. But, relations, no. family. So you, okay, well, you start, you can have a family without a marriage or without a marriage contract. No. Uh, you don't you see, families families on an individual simple individual unit like you don't have a body with like so you can have some single single cell organisms but they don't really develop nothing they just they just continue to exist you develop in multicellular organisms and this is family unit where all you are is blood related blood relatives and you're not 
building anything. That's the same thing niggas was doing in the jungle. That's not civilization. Well, See, if you get rid of marriage, this, this, once again, if you get rid of marriage, you get rid of the, the, this forward moving structure of families. You get rid of that. And you go back to the laws of the jungle. I'm not saying we can't do it because it's there. It's nature. Sex has been around longer. Chicken and egg. Eggs been around. I'm not saying. I'm not rejecting what you're saying. I'm just. I'm. I'm speaking on the implications of it. Because what? What? Usually around this conversation, when we start, when we're talking about the liberation of women sexually, uh, when it comes from the family and not having not having to do that, there are implications to it, and we and, and we usually don't think about the implications for males. We just kind of think. Well, men are supposed to have done the same thing they've always done. Well, if women are doing something different, men are putting them, they're going to be in a detrimental position if they don't do something different as well. Because if you're sitting here, you're building your house on land you'll never own. You're building your business, your empire on land you'll never own. What happens when the landlord comes and says, hey, fuck your business, you got to move. Everything you've done is gone. You get zeroed out And so it's a bad investment for, for men now And so I'm not saying you can't do it I'm just saying men have to figure something else out Parallel because alright So when you look at When you look at home ownership If eminent domain is placed on that area You have to You have to remove yourself from that home Or or or, or, or go to battle Or go against the Yeah, that game, yeah. Right so yeah. with with the fact that we even have a concept like that and that is accepted, right? There is no real ownership of land, right? You have you have a mortgage, sure. You know you 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 pay for thirty years a certain set rate, right? But if you, okay, if, hold on, okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You, I'll, I'll change my analogy. You know? I'll change my analogy because th this is this is this is oh, 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 okay, right. You have that, right? You also have things that even take place, like when it, it's just, it's just the just believing in the, um, in the in, in the infinite possibilities of marriage, right? You, you have all these factors that take place. I mean, even like when it comes to like death, right? Death might occur with one of the spouses, and they are remarrying. Does that make them now? Does that make them less? Uh, does that is, is it valueless because of remarriage? This is there still divorce shit is at, new. At this divorce time? shit is new. I'm saying at the present time, is there still not a respectable connection? At the present time, we are colonized. It is a completely different thing. Bro, so you 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 so you're talking about the infinite potentials of marriage. There's no infinite potentials. Marriage is a thing. Yeah. There's a thing it is. It's not an infinite potentials. Like, like it begins, it ends. It, it, there's, there's no solid contract. It, like marriage itself isn't solid. Or, 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 um, or only now, or only recently. No That's some recent shit, bro. Right? There's no ownership. The fact that you can even leave a marriage shows that there's no ownership. You might the, the fact, that the ability. Put your name on some shit. It still don't make it yours. The ability to leave a relationship, the ability, the ability to leave a marriage is new shit, bro. That's new shit. That's new shit. I, marriage I agree with you. It's, 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 when you add that shit, shit, no, it's brother. not. No, new. it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Marriage no, it's right? not. No, no way. Marriage is new. Is if we're talking about what a real marriage is. A real marriage what the is fuck? just a, a what blended the fuck? and a coming together between a man and a woman, male and female, right? And then you produce and you have something that's that, a product that, of that, that marriage. That, that child. That. That's a marriage. A ma that's that's a marriage. Your child, your child is your marriage. Your child that, is your living incarnation. Your child, your child is the blending together that, and infusing of your bloodlines. Your child that, is that. The and the mashing together of that, family. Making sex. family. Is a village. That's that, a marriage. Not, sex. Your marriage is just the that is sex. Behind her, I'm, I'm sorry, that bro. That is sex, dude. That is sex. That is not marriage. Just because you put the word real in front of it, don't mean it's not sex now. That is sex, dude. That is sex. Sex. Yes, sex has been around. We, we, we've been over this, dude. Sex has been around for a lot longer than marriage. What? And we still don't know. We met. Look, people have been fucking for millennia, and we yes. still don't know how it works, how it can still produce a baby. We what do you mean we don't know? Don't know. We, there's still no real surety as to how how this 
non-physical thing can become liquid and then become physical and then can become and, and then has intelligence. What it does it? There's still no direction. They still don't understand how that's possible. Cause sex Bruh, I don't agree is the that. most is the highest shit. It's not this low level shit because you're, you're doing it in secret, because you're doing it in shame. I'm not saying that does, that it's low level all. shit. I'm not that saying it's low level all. shit. I'm not saying it's low level shit. I'm saying it's not a mystery. It is a mystery. It's not a mystery. Everything does it. Everything does it. It's not a mystery. But everything does it. But, but that's sex, uh, bro. That's what I'm telling you. It's I'm sex. Saying, sex and marriage are not the same thing. What I'm saying is, essentially, how does everything know to do it? It's instinct. It's instinct. It's like water. Yes, it's instinct, bro. Sex and marriage are not the same thing. Marriage is not instinct. So how is marriage not instinct? People go to marriage for what? For survival, right? People go to marriage for protection, right? Like, hey, we're getting married just in case something happens to you. I can go there and I can pull the plug or tell them to keep you alive. We're getting married so that I could be on your insurance. We're getting married so that so that so that uh, your children and my children, so on and so forth. That's new shit. That's you talking new protection. shit? Insurance, insurance. See, bro, this is what I'm saying. Families are gone. Lineages are gone. Why? Because no, there's no, no one's, no one's really got a duty to the family. You have to stay here. Everyone's for everybody. You know, just split up. Go here. Hold, hold on, no, no. We're all free. We're all doing whatever we're doing. Everyone's an individual, and because everyone's an individual, we don't have a community. Also, still instinctually, we still have even, we're, even when I marriage is so not instinctual, dude. Sex is instinctual. We instinctually, do the shit that a village that a village does, right? Down. Down to the fact of like you don't just take care of your children. You like the fact that you even have a clap. I, I get that funny shit, but fuck it. The fact that you you talk and you inspire other niggas' kids is proof of a village, nigga. It's proof of. I inspire white. I inspire white kids. Are they in the so same village? Family. Because okay, the so fact that they're, because so the fact that they're human means that there's so, a nigga that fucked So them simply up. because they're human, they're in the village. That's so everyone's in the village. If everyone's in the village, is it a fucking village? Like everyone's in the village. So no one's outside the village. So it's just everyone. You may as well just say everyone. You only have to add the village but, part, bruh. But hey, it went right back to how we started the conversation. That's what spirituality is. It's, it's spirit and everything. Everything has a breath. Marriage is business bro it is not instinct it is business it's been business for hundreds of thousands of years we used to have lineages of people you know how niggas in africa can be like what tribe you from that shit don't come from everybody being an individual that shit don't come from everybody just being free and doing what that shit don't come from giving giving men who've gone through manhood rights holes and that don't that don't come from giving women who who, who develop and save themselves to be a wife some some trash ass nigga who's done nothing with himself that don't come from this colonization bullshit bro we used to have lineages of ourselves families we don't have that no more and niggas ain't interested in it no more niggas is interested in being an individual being on their own being by themselves look at me ha ha i'm right here meanwhile white supremacy but stop niggas is dumb what i'm saying Man, is if it's not instinct bro you're killing me i'm, the, the I'm dying it's on a race right the fact but, that all right, I, 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 it's I, not i'm not talking i'm not talking the genetics i'm talking the infrastructure i'm talking the social infrastructure the social infrastructure fuck the dna the social infrastructure you could know your third great aunt and because that motherfucker you know where they live Y'all talk, y'all communicate. Y the family has a thing they do. There's a lineage. There's a, there's a thing your family's known for. Like, bro, that shit is gone. Now. We do that now. Just because it ain't pretty and, and wrapped up in this beautiful package of uh, this is the exact match. We do that shit now. How do we do that now? We How do we do that now? Look, bro, we, look, we take care of each other. How do we other. do that now? We, we, we take care of each other. We support one another's businesses. We support one another's trades. 
We learn from each other. Since we when? Other. We do that now. Let's stop. We, even, even though, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, you, 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 you can say that it's because of the things that we've read and, and what the, we used to do and make the comparison to motherfuckers we never met. We're doing that shit right now. If we even really think about that shit, the fact that we have all these families connected. Now, I mean, fuck it. So, something, something as simple as you look at uh, even like the names, right? And and yes, I, fuck it. I'm about to introduce a false parallel, but I'm going to bring a point back to it, right? Even with the names, right? The names that people used to call ghetto and uncivilized. They say, oh, uh, Aquanisha and Shaquasia and all this other shit. They used to say that these are false made up names. They used to talk about, um, they, used, they used to talk about robotics as being this false language and this shit that niggas made up. But when you actually did a little bit of research, you would see, oh no, these are traditional Native American names. When you actually did the research, you would see, oh no, these niggas ain't just crip walking. They actually doing traditional dances niggas do. Oh, they not just catching a holy ghost. Niggas is doing a motherfucking spirit dance. Shit niggas used to do from way back when. You know what I'm saying? So it, I feel you. I know it don't look pretty. I'm and not I wish talking it did look DNA. Like Bro, you what you saying now is the DNA, bro. What you talking about now is the DNA. I'm not talking the DNA. Of course the DNA ain't gone. I'm talking about the social infrastructure. The social inf infrastructure. We had lineages. Naming your baby something that you didn't know where you got the name from, but you just thought it was pretty. That ain't the lineage. But that's not a lineage. That's DNA. That's DNA. That's not social infrastructure. That's not social. That's not culture. That's not. That's not family. That's not lineage, bro. That's DNA. That's simply biology right there. That's the, what I'm talking about. Is the things you build on top of biology. You keep trying to say biology has all of it, but it doesn't. Biology has the 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 the, the foundations to us to to be able to to replicate to 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 start. We build the other things on top of it. But the things I'm talking about are not just the, the biology. Like, like, look, niggas today in the Americas doing the same dances they did 3,000 years ago because the DNA is still here. I oh. agree with you. Oh. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%, bro. I, I do not disagree with that. But what I'm, what I'm talking about isn't that. That's the DNA. What I'm talking about is the family, the social the, the social infrastructure, the fact that you knew who your aunts were. It, the, the fact that... Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not just talking about the aunts from your... Let me, tell, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Not just your aunts in your direct family, you know, like the three or four aunts you got. I'm talking about four families over, like horizontally. Like, you know, like, like your whole, you know, your whole family, like your whole family, like y'all come together regularly. You have traditions. Bro, I, I, I got a whole WhatsApp group chat dedicated to five, six aunts. All the way over, nigga. Yeah, we have a what's that. A what's that? What that's just I, I have like two of those. I never see these niggas. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking about simple, basic communication. I'm talking about social infrastructure. This is community, this is culture, this is family. This is more than just baseline biology. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's something that has to be built. And it's built over generations. It's built through those bonds, through those promises, those contracts of you do this, I do that. We build on that. And the next generation does it. And you build a community around it. That's that's gone now. And what I'm saying is niggas ain't trying to do it again. What niggas are trying to do is like, I'm just going to be an individual by myself. And somehow we're a community and things don't work that way. White folks will tell you that shit. They'll give you Juneteenth and they'll put on the, the dashiki in the courthouse or whatever. But I mean that shit just look good. Ain't no ain't no community. Ain't no community. Ain't no none of that. Ain't no families. All that shit's gonna be. All that shit's gone. Especially if, if if and I had to change my analogy because before you know when I said you build a house on land you'll never own, you went to the um eminent domain. Bad analogy then. What I'll say is build your house on sand. That's that's a better analogy for what I meant. Because if 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 it's never she's never yours, it's just your turn. Then what you're doing is you're building your house on sand. And we didn't build civilizations on sand. We didn't build like that, dude. This idea that she's just it's just your turn, 
that's not building civilization. That's what I'm saying. If that's the case, that's a hope. See, that, there we go. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That defined it for me. That's a hope. She's not yours. It's just your turn. That's a hope. That's a hope. It's not the bodies. It's not the number. It's the mindset. It's that. It's not. She's not yours. She's just your turn. That's a hope. That's a hope. We finally came. Thank you. Thank you. We finally got around to it. Thank you. I needed this. I needed this dance. This is why I wanted this, sir. That's what it was. That's what it was. I could taste it. When we first started the video, I, t I could taste I was going to get it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what it is. Right. Yet also, all right, if we are speaking about lineages, different lifetimes, right? Different li lifetimes? Right. What you mean? Like, all right, different generations, I should say. Like generation, like building on building on generations. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I go along with. I am. Uh, I go with the notion that we reincarnate right? uh, mainly because when I see children, right? When I see parents, I see children as being the physical incarnation or the uh, of the, the present grandparents of their parents. Yeah, right? the like, grandparents. I, yeah. My dad, I used to be like, I'm a old man. I don't. I don't want to do what you're doing, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. like, so mm -hmm. I became of his age, and things started to finally make sense. Right? I started to. Um, I started to, to to take the same trades that he that he was skilled in, as his father was skilled in, and as his father was skilled in. Mm -hmm. Right? Right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, when it came to that, right? We still have these, we still have different experiences within, even though like we might be incarnations of our parents, we still have different experiences. We still meet different people, right? So we live in a different atmosphere. Right. So, you know, there's no, there's no even, there's no complete guarantee, right? That you are gonna, you know, we have this thing where people say they they uh, they they have uh, different soul ties, right? Hold on. I hate that thing. Hold on. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. No, no, all I can't right. but I'm not. I'm not telling you. To, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not trying to deny you. I just. So, so, I'm sorry. All right. So, using soul ties, I would say that we felt love for mm -hmm. for our different partners. Mm -hmm. Right, we haven't just felt love for one partner. There's, there's been love that we've experienced, or, or even on the biology like this, the, the the chemical reaction that brought us to to different partners. Right. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, you know, there's a there's there's always there's an ebb and flow, even when it comes to relationships. You can might be with somebody that. You, you might be with somebody you might really enjoy their company, yet having too much time around them might repulse you. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because there's still a need to sounds also vent. Like a friend. Huh? That sounds like a friend. You know, it might be a need to venture out elsewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Or it might be a call into that, right? Um, I almost, I'm almost now. I, I, I lost. I lost my point of view. Oh, I, I lost my, uh, my training. Right. Look, look. I, I, I won't deny. I, like people have their natural urges and their tendencies to do the same things, like that, from the animalistic level I, that we've done I, in the jungle. I was so amazing. Yeah. I was like, all right, this is all like shit. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, that's part of the reason I don't like that shit because yeah. there, there's there's so little language for how that actually works. That whenever somebody says it, you know, you never really know where they can go with it. It's just like we're going anywhere now. So I just, no, it's, it so it's nothing personal. Yeah, so, no, it's, like, it's, it's like, look, in sex and marriage are different things, but marriage is business. Mm -hmm. The building of a lineage of a legacy is business. Mm -hmm. That's business, bro. That's not just biology and feelings. Like I, I will not deny those exist, and I will not deny they are relevant in your in your experience of life. 
they are vital they're crucial things but that is not marriage that is not legacy that is not lineage dna is a different thing bro like this is what we built civilizations on moving beyond that that i'm gonna just branch around and and i'm gonna do what i want to do anywhere and everywhere like we built civilizations bro i don't know bro i'll say i say sex is also a business just like sex is a contract these are different contracts that you're making with the people that you have sex with what 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 do you what do you mean these are contracts bro what 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 con what are the what are the like, give me an example love yeah i go to the club I, I I get a drink. I get this girl a drink. We go we go out to my car and we have sex. All right. What was the contract? All right. You have a baby from it. So if I have a baby, it's a contract. She has contractions when she has a baby. Dude, don't do that. To me. Don't do that 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 to me, word word. Do that to me because I'm gonna slay that. Bruh, you just gave me a fly ball. Don't do that to me because I'm a slay that. Please have a different argument. Oh my god. Two word contractions. It's because of the prefix con, meaning coming together, like like the difference between progress and congress. Con, like like the difference between procreate and concrete. It's the prefix con. Like marriage. Oh, like ah, marriage. No, that is not because it is a contract. Like marriage is the coming together. Oh. No, it's not just a piece of paper you sign. It's the same responsibility. No, it's not. Because oh. look, I can drop, I can drop kids all day, and nature's not gonna make me responsible for them. Marriage does that. Families does that. A system of order does that. Not just feelings. Not just emotions and biology. That's what I'm saying, bro. See, motherfuckers will hold that shit to men. You don't have... Look, look. Everything, if any respectable animal in nature, when the man comes through, he hits that shit, leaves her with whatever the, whatever the fuck she's supposed to do with it, and bounces. He's gone. But once again... But see, look. That's... Uh, chill. That's I didn't say all, it was all. I didn't say it was all. I didn't say it was all. I said it was most animals, most animals, most respectable animals, unless they're some kind of communal animal where they live in, in communities. Look, because if you live in communities, then there's one nigga who gets the bitches. If you live by yourself, you know, niggas just gonna come, he gonna hit you, he gonna give you that thing, thing, and he gonna bounce. But it's like, nature don't make, nature don't tell us we gotta do it. See, this, that's, that's, that's some, that's some bullshit people are trying to keep from that old contract we used to have. We don't have that no more because you know it's it's she's never she's never yours. It's just your turn. So that's what we building our civilizations on. Now that's what we supposed to build our foundation on. And that's why I'm saying if if dudes decide to make marriage something else, if that's what women are going to do, they're not going to be they they they're, they're forcing themselves out of being included in the family. Like it's it's ridiculous. Like each person is given something. That's how it goes. Nature wants me to go around and stick my dick in everything. The fact that I want to step that almost every girl looks fuckable is not a part of my personality. It's the biology. It's my machinery. That's not my personality. Nature wants me to fuck everything. The fact that I don't is me giving something. Fuck you mean. Every single one of them. You still have a contract with each and every single one of them. Now, nature, whether, ain't, nature not, ain't talking to me about the contract. The contract was already sent when I bust my nut. That was the contract. He was going to sit here long enough for me to bust this nut. That was the contract. But still a choice. Just like mar even marriage is still a choice. You well, marriage is something different. Bro. Marriage is not just sex. Marriage is not sex. It sounds good. But, not. but even at our base level, even instinctually, right, we still do we still do the things that are meant to uphold the community. No, they don't, we they don't. Tiny, we, they don't what? They, like, ain't no civilizations of chimpanzees. But, ain't no civilizations but, of horses. But, ain't no civilizations of dolphins. But the shit that you do in nature does not build civilizations. That's my point. This is the difference between sex and marriage. That thing, it'll build, it'll build enough to keep replicating itself. That's it. It don't build civilizations. It don't build communities. That shit you 
can do when you stop doing what you was told to do in the jungle. But motherfuckers want to go back to being able to do it. While I was in the jungle, I could just go from branch to branch, and I could sit on his branch and his branch, and we could just eat some fruit. Because even in the jungle, they have civilizations in the jungle. They do they not have, have civilizations in the jungle. They so do not I, have civilizations I, in the jungle. Where you are outside of your mind, sir. They do not have civilizations in the jungle. There are no civilizations in the jungle. No. There are communities of people. You talking about communities of people? We used to make civilizations in the jungle. Not now. Not now. Now. We used to make civilizations in the jungle. Back when we was doing things like marriage. Back when we when back when we knew what a hoe was. <laughs> we was doing it back then. Now we're confused about how that worked. So it seemed like everything else just goes to hell. Wow. Bruh, wow. it's not I'm telling you, bro, the shit is not difficult. Next marriage is something outside of biology. It's something we build. I'm saying there are bro, there's civilizations right now. But they're not built and off of just let's really, all fuck anything and do whatever we want to do whenever. They're not built off. None of them are built off of that. A lot of times there are civilizations where that is a right for passage to do. To fuck everyone and not have wives and not have husbands and not have marriage? Like, what are you talking about? But the question wasn't about whether you should have a wife or whether you should have a husband or whether you should be married. The question was, right, is someone that has sex with multiple people, right, a woman in particular, are they still eligible for marriage? You, 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 keep, you keep saying Wait, that. Was that the, like, I didn't even know that was the question. I didn't even know that was the question. What the I didn't even know that was the question. So the question that, is. That's how it started. The, it didn't, no, uh, look, to be fair, hold on. Look, look, that's how it started. It started with, it started with, hey, you keep all housewives, so on and so forth, right? And then it was about the whole redeemable thing. And they were like, whoa, you tell me is a <laughs> those two things. <laughs> is he redeemable or can he be a husband, right? But then you also introduce different factors that, that take place, right? Where although that might be the super taboo thing and that might be the thing that, uh, that might be the, the one, uh, oh, you can't come back from that. We have the fact that we, we, we have inescapable uh, systems in place. We have, we have prisons that, that, that uh, we, have, we have prisons that, that push and force men, to, men together and create this and create this whole survival of the fittest sort of thing. You have the food that uh, you have the food that they that they put certain chemicals in, right? That switch and change the DNA, and make people more susceptible to certain behaviors. We have the water, we have uh, astrazine and shit like that in our water that even changes uh, the certain gem gender compounds and shit with the niggas. Fuck it. We even have the fact when it comes to city planning, they most trees that we see in cities are male trees most trees that we see in cities are not fruit bearing trees most trees that we see in cities produce pollen nigga you in the same state as me so you know what season it is it's nothing but pollen and there's no fruit around so it's even the trees in jail so even the trees are exhibiting homosexual behavior let me ask you this then, bro, because if, if, if we're going to boil the conversation back down to that question, um, so that I understand, if the question is, is something to the effect of, um, is a woman with a, a high body count eligible for marriage? You know, if, 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 the, if the question is something to that uh, effect, um, I'm going to say, well, what, what do you mean when you say marriage? Because for, for a while now, we've been having this discussion and I'm, I've been making it. I've been. Huh? I haven't changed. I haven't changed my definition of marriage. Uh, what is it? What do, you, what do you think? For man and when a man and woman come together, that's a marriage. That's a deep. So just as simple as it's a, it's so. A, okay, it's a, it's a responsibility, but it's that's it in the definition. So so the, the, so the, let me re reframe the question so where I, I, I see it. it it's, it's basically is a woman with a high body count eligible for another dick? Of course. Of course. She can have someone else that she can have a sexual or intimate relationship with. The, of course, a hoe is eligible for someone to to love her. That's not what marriage is. Marriage is so much more than that. 
anyone can love her. There, there could be plenty of people who step to that motherfucker and love her. She don't want they love. Right. So I mean, it's not about whether or not someone's gonna love her. This marriage is more than that. It's more than that. It's an investment in your future. Women so know that. Women know that. That's why. That's why. That's why they turn certain dudes down, and that's why they don't just marry anybody. Women know marriage is an investment in your future. It's not just a man and a woman coming together. It's sex. But if, you, if that's how you'll define it, then I would say that the answer is yes. Of course, she's eligible for another man to come into her life. But it doesn't mean he's going to stay. And that's kind of what they want. The right man to stick around. But even marriage within the sense of the, the paper contract that you're describing is still... I'm not describing it, it, marriage as a paper contract. I'm not describing marriage as a paper contract. I'm not describing marriage as a paper contract. Still no guarantee that that marriage is also going to stay. Well, look, if, if the idea of marriage, if the idea of marriage doesn't include the possibility of divorce, then that's not a question. See, when you ask me the question if a hoe was eligible for marriage, it hit my head in a way that's like, that the question for me at first didn't make sense because it's like, if it's a hoe, why would they be married? But then I had to reframe, okay, maybe I don't understand what he means by marriage because this question isn't ridiculous to him. That's why I asked you what you meant by marriage. And for you, marriage is just a man and a woman coming together in, in an intimate way, you know, or uh, maybe a loving way. I don't think anyone is, it should be denied that or is in, ineligible for that. I don't think anyone is ineligible for that. I don't think most people would agree with me, but I don't think anyone is ineligible for that. But what I will say is, um, is marriage is more than marriage is much more than just coming together and and loving each other. It's it's a work, and and when you add the option of divorce, it's not what it, it's not it's not the same thing we've used to build civilizations. It's not. In a, in a addition, I would say because how we started the conversation we spoke about how uh bobby hammond said in one of his clips short clip wasn't a, a complete explanation or anything like that but within the short clip he mentioned if she's conscious and she used to be a whole run to her right and you mentioned that you did give us some more dick you <laughs> so give us some more dick not to marry her also, but see, just like you said is she eligible for another dick yes she is run to her because she, she's the one that you want to give your dick to there you go and the reason Protect why the seat. I, on, as i mentioned the reason why i even brought up the question of all right um uh can a can a hoe be a housewife right uh it's mainly because when that statement was posed although he he stated nothing about marriage he didn't mention anything of he didn't say anything about marriage and say anything even about a relationship no. but what is although he mentioned she was a hoe he didn't even say anything about sex he said he said if she, a hoe, if she, if she used to be a hoe and she's conscious now runs right so no one no one i mean no one you would i'm here i'm following no one i'm following you like oh well she's a hoe and she's conscious so she could talk to me and teach me different things or talk to me about her experiences in life she could talk to me about what she learned from the different men throughout her experience in life her like dick stories huh not just her dick stories talk hold on not just that niggas don't only only pillow talk niggas could claim that all they do is fuck bitches and move on but we always if if you was if most upstanding niggas teach the women that they're having sex with. Most upstanding niggas share information, give their expertise on different subjects. And those women, they not only retain the semen, they also retain the information and the knowledge. And those women do what? They go and they share it with the next person or with, with whoever, um, with, you know, yeah, with the next person or or with the person that they're with at that point that's the expert because now it's their expertise right yeah now it's, it's, it's their expertise body. they're collecting <laughs> now, now now it's their field of study you know what i'm saying now it's something that they were interested in and, and there are times when you you can teach a woman something or talk to a woman about, about a subject on a very surface level and if she has the interest in it she'll delve deep into it mm -hmm. so 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 for the fact that folks you know, we're, we're doing this whole thing where they were just kind of tossing out the hole and just relegating her for sex 
and STDs. Oh, but yeah. that's what she's I, for. I, I didn't say you. I didn't say you. I didn't say you. I didn't but say you. It's not about you right. saying me. It's just that, that look, bro, right. we already defined it. We already defined it. This is why a hoe can't be a housewife. It's, it's a thing of definition because she's never yours. It's just your turn. That's not a housewife. That's why a hoe can't be a housewife because she's never yours. It's just your turn. That, right, if that's what you want, if that's what you want, get a maid. That's not a housewife. That's not a wife. She's never yours. It's just your turn. That's not a wife. That's a hoe. And you can't make that into a housewife. Because that don't want to be a wife. That want to be a hoe. Mm. See? Yeah. Once again, like I said, it's not even about the numbers. <laughs> yeah, because I'm one to say that even, people... even though the numbers get ridiculous out here, bro. The numbers get crazy. But, yeah. but once again, but, but I mean, but if, let's be, let's take it even like that, right? What? She has this. <laughs> she's always going to cheat. Right, so. Look, if she has this, one one dude brought up the scenario of if you were with a woman and you fall in love with her and you marry her, right? But then mm -hmm. later it comes, her experience or her past comes to light. Do you mm -hmm. stay with her or do you leave her? I don't know. That's a good fucking question. Cause look, bro, look. Cause look, uh, this is what I would say. Yeah. That's that's a that's an awful. I would say it would be an awful predicament to be in. And how you solve predicaments like that is you marry off virgins, mm. because you never have to worry about that. Mm. But for us, you never know. So I don't know what to but, tell you, bro. Look, and this but, is and this is what I would say. Do this is what I would say. Last thing, this is what I would say. Do yeah. because. It, this is what helps me. I just assume, I just assume it was an extra forty. I just assume it was an extra forty because I can never know. She'll if, if it was true, she'd never tell me. Right. And and like, what am I gonna do if it is? Like, what if, I can spend the next fifty years with her, and then the last day, I can be on my deathbed, and somebody here they come. Hey, bro, we 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 the crew of forty niggas that fucked your girl that one night. What am, what am I gonna do? There's nothing I can do. I gotta die with that. Thank you. I gotta die with that. But see, we save niggas from shit like that. Virgin. There you go. Bro, you ain't gotta worry about you ain't gotta worry about this coming back to bite you. Build your empire in, in this community right now. We, we want you to do that. We raised you to do that, bro. Please do it. You ain't have to worry about that. Ever. Now, hey man, you never know. You but also, never know. Even when it comes to that, it's, it's because still because because she's never yours. It's just your turn. Who is that? This is still a guarantee of the Who is that? It's, I said I said not just that, but this but it's still it's still true because yeah. it can happen. And see, yeah, that if anything can happen. Yeah, that that's what well, that's one thing. What happens most of the time? Most of the time, people grow old together. They have a family and they have more families and more families. Most of yes, anything can happen and all kind of things happen. Most of the time that's what happens. I get you anything can happen. Yeah, you know what I mean? Anything can happen. It's like, mm, yeah, but most of the time that's what happens is that families continue. You know, like it's not it's not a hundred percent guarantee. There's never a hundred percent guarantee. Nothing is. Anything claiming to be is false. It's not a claim at 100% guarantee. This is your best shot based on what you come with, based on the fact that this nigga want to fuck everything, so we're going to tell him not to, based on the fact that you're going to want to sneak and fuck while you fucking him to keep what he got, we're going to tell you not to, and we're going to build off of this. Bro, for that, the motherfuckers been building these shits for thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years. That's not just dumb people. Bro, that's the same motherfuckers built pyramids, built huge cities in the jungle, told you to be a virgin before you was married. Fuck you mean? They was right about all this. They got the stars lined up, but they wrong about pussy. Bus stop. Bus stop. Man, it hurts. It hurts. Very Look. Yet the same gods that are feared 
there are different glyphs of them fucking multiple niggas. There's also glyphs of virgin gods too, bro. There's guys, there's guys that ain't fucking nobody. She's just playing the heart. Of course. Like, I mean, even just when because. It, 